Hey folks, here's a very quick demo on how to get pixel streaming running in Unreal Engine 5.1. First step is you're going to go into your plugins and you're going to search for pixel streaming. And you'll see that there's two plugins, the pixel streaming player. I believe this was all packaged together and now just separated out. So if you have your own pixel streaming player, you don't need to have that checked. I'm going to check both of them and it's going to say that it's a beta version. Don't worry about that. Hit the other checkbox and it'll ask you to restart. And after you do that, you'll see the pixel streaming setup right here. So you can do it locally directly in your editor. And when you're ready to package, you can just go right there to Windows Package Project. And once you've got it packaged up, by the way, I love that we just say Windows now and not Windows no editor, you'll see the executable, but you can't just launch that right away. You're going to have to do a couple things first. First, we'll go into the name of the project that you've created. You'll go under samples, pixel streaming, web servers. And then you'll start by running get PS servers batch. And that might go fast or might take a little while if it has to um, download some things like Node.js. And then from there, you can just go into signaling web server and you can find platform scripts command. And then you can just open run local dot batch. And that again may need to install some things, may not. And then once we see some nice green letters, we see that it's running on the default port listening on 80. That's all great. Now what we're going to need to do is go back up to the top level. And by the way, we might want to create a, a little shortcut to our signaling web server if we want easy access to it. So we could just grab this path here to run local dot batch, copy that, copy all this, and then go all the way back up to our main folder. And we can create a new TXT file and we'll call this run local server. Leave it as a text file for the moment. And in here we can paste all of this, except we can actually just start right from the root directory and then change that to a batch file. And then just if we want to test that, we can close the one we have running and just try opening that again. And we can see that it's once again running, which is great. And now we're going to create one more batch file. And technically we could combine all this in a single one, but it's easy to do it uh, separately. And we'll say run pixel streaming exe or something like that. We'll open it up. And then we're just going to make sure we're using the name of our actual executable file here. And this is just a simple way to add some launch options without being constrained to the relative directory, you know, C dash users dash whatever. As long as this is in the same directory as this, it's going to run OK. And there's just some default pixel streaming launch options that we're going to want to use. And I'll paste these in the description. That's fine for localhost, pixel streaming port 8888. And we can close this, save it. Add that batch file and then open that. So now we've got this running and I can control it like a normal experience. I can also start to minimize it. And now I can open up a new browser and just go to localhost. And I could actually just type in localhost, but if I want to just make sure that I'm going where I think I'm going, I can type in 80. And we'll get our nice little menu here. Click to start and we'll get our play button and we see the log running in the background here. And we see now in our browser at localhost, we are able to click in and actually start to control our game the same way we would as if we were somewhere else. And we can look at a few different uh, options in here under our settings, enlarge display window is quality controller, match viewport resolution. And you'll notice now if I scroll this, change the size of this, it's actually going to change the actual size of what's rendering. That's a pretty nice one. Uh, we can use our microphone if we need to, use a turn server, hide the browser cursor, which is nice. This is one of those things that I always used to forget to uh, enable because that's actually something you can set up inside Unreal Engine. Um, showing FPS, always handy. Some encoder settings, WebRTC settings, and then your streaming settings as well. And information. We get stuff about the encoding quality, how long we've been going, the video codec, and that's working pretty much as we'd expect.
Let's try it at full screen. And you see it works super smooth. Getting a good frame rate, nice Wi-Fi connection. And it's basically like I'm playing it locally, which, you know, technically I am. But the idea, of course, is that this could be um, anywhere else. And if I want to come out of this mode, I just press Escape. It gives me my window back. And if I want to see my cursor or hide it again, I can just toggle it there. There we go. Well, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time.